Hello and welcome, I'm Neil from Bath Cars and today's car is the Ford Focus uh, ZTEC model, 2 litre petrol, 5 speed manual, W registration 2000 uh, registered in June same keeper for the last 10 years and uh, drives all well, nothing to uh, discuss really on the drive and the transmission clutch all good, brakes, gear change etc etc so tested by myself for 25 miles, 30 miles, drives fine um, car's a little bit edgy here and there, mainly on the other side actually, this side's not so bad and uh, I'll run around the car just basically telling you what you're going to find when you come to view it. Although what you will get is a decent car that runs well and has uh, MOT. There's no tax with it I'm afraid. But this side is the worst side. We've got uh, scuffing to the bumpers, a little bit edginess to the doors, the usual sort of rust on the bottom edges of the rear door there, which you get with all of these Ford Focuses at this sort of age, and a scuffed up front uh, bumper, mainly on this side, the other side's not so bad. Alloy wheels, which are 16 inch alloys, 20550 R16s. Front pads are about uh, half worn, the rear pads are uh, not far off, in need of replacement, uh, but they'll do for probably up to the next MOT. That tyre there is a uh, pretty good tyre, he's uh, better than half worn, so about 70% uh, to go. Uh, this one here isn't far off new, so a good, uh, decent amount of tread on that tyre to go. The rear of the car looks quite. Uh, not too bad actually just a few minor scratches and marks there has been a dog in the boot dogs a bit the boots a bit soiled so um, if you are uh, planning on having this as an immaculate car it's probably not going to get there you need to spend a bit of time valeting it um, we've had it just basically moderately cleaned and uh, it's not bad, that bad a place to be in we'll come to that a bit later anyway going around the tires again still this one's uh, better than half worn so uh, actually blimey not far off new by the looks of it and this one here Again, about 60-70% to go. So the tyres themselves got plenty of tread to go. The uh, screen isn't in too bad order. I did see on the MOT that there was an advisory. Oh, there's a small chip just in the screen there. It's not that bad. And it has got the heated screen, which is an excellent idea from Ford. So you could have got the quick clear screen. And if winters are getting anything like this one in March, we're gonna you're gonna need it. Um, okay, so uh, roof is okay. The lenses are okay on the car front and rear and uh, tyres are good and alloys actually aren't in that bad a condition she's uh, not been too heavy on the alloys okay what we'll do then is we'll um, cut to the uh, history and documents so see you in a moment okay welcome to the uh, history and documents then for this Ford Focus uh, we can see that we've got a car here with uh, three keepers in total um, W registration car registered June 2000 uh, Ford ZTEC 5 door PLG car 1989cc uh, in black. Uh, last keeper has owned the car since 2003. That's actually not uh, a bad thing. Somebody who's owned the car for quite a long time. Uh, chopping and changing generally tends to, to uh, represent people aren't happy with it. So uh, almost 10 years of ownership for the last keeper. Uh, the current MOT certificate is valid until August the 21st, 2013. Uh, done at 76,000 miles um, and uh, what can we tell you here it's uh, got a few advisories it's got a chip in the screen uh, trailing arm rubber bush deteriorated offside trailing arm rubber bush deteriorated a brake pipe corroded a brake pipe corroded and an oil leak although I haven't noticed much in the way of spotting underneath so uh, um, those are the advisory items um, possibly going to need a couple of bushes and possibly a couple of brake pipes um, in the future, but uh, that's basically what you get with an older car anyway. Could go on like that for years, you never know. I've also printed off um, a Vosa uh, history, MOT history request, which uh, represents a, a pretty decent mileage uh, check for you. And it shows the car, if I can just get the uh, pages to turn. Um, it goes back to 2006 when we can see it had 32,000 miles on it. 2007 it had 39,000 miles. 2008 it had 48,000 in 2009 it had 56,000 uh, in uh, 2009 we had 56k 2010 it had 62,000 uh, 2011 the car had 69,000 and 2012 it had 76,000 and of course uh, today it has 79,000 and to complement it as well is a service book, it's the original owner's service history log and uh, 
in here we've got one two three four five six seven stamps in the book abbey garage which was the supplying dealer did the first three services up to 12k then another garage at 12 at uh, 21,000 27,000 full service at 34,000 in 2007 and uh, another service at 49,000 in 2008 and I would imagine there's um, a, a few uh, there's a receipt there actually for 336 pounds in 2000 and is there a date on there 2007 so that probably would have been that service there but um, I don't think there's any more let's have a quick look through sometimes it can be written on the back nope um, but I've seen the discs the discs and the pads look okay on there so uh, that's it really we do have two keys for this car two keys seven stamps and last service at 49 in the book okay back to the car Right, welcome back then, so uh, let's delve into the interior. It's a metallic black, by the way, this one, metallic finish. Rubber mats in the car, map pockets in the back there, and these seats are dirty, could do with a wet clean. Unfortunately, with uh, March being so cold, it's not been worth wet cleaning this car, it would never dry out. Um, so uh, now the sun's coming out, it would be a good idea to have it wet cleaned. Or just put some seat covers on if you, uh, if you fancy, but... Uh, that's all okay in the back there. Three inertia reel safety belts in the back and three headrests for passenger safety. The driver's seat isn't in too bad a condition, but a small hole just there. Uh, the rest of it's all pretty good. Again, just some wear and uh, some soiling. The uh, centre console there with the handbrake. Five-speed manual car, cup holders. Again, passenger seat a little soiled. Rubber mats again. Pedal rubbers in fair order, electric windows, electric mirrors. What have I done with the key? Is it up front? Here it is in my pocket, right. So, this car's got two keys with it. Uh, I'm sure the remote locking works, it does indeed. Open and close, so that's all good. Let's jump in and uh, show you what it's all about. Okay, so ignition on, barrels all nicely doesn't uh, catch or anything like that so starter up idles over fine it's dead cold it's the first time I started it today clock fan heater radio that's cool have we got to have a smoker in the car not really no nope. there's uh, very little in the way of use of that um, locking door nut is present there's some owner's manuals in here as well. Let's just see if we've got the uh, radio code, and book, etc. In the meantime, the steering wheel's uh, one of these sort of sportier types of steering wheel with nodules on, but uh, again, showing some dirt and soiling. Uh, the fingertip control for the hi-fi, that works fine. Just uh, bear with me a second. Okay, right. Let's have a look what we've got here. We've got uh, warranty. It looks like the audio guide's in there as well. Yeah. Okay, that's a, a, a positive. Right, um, does the aircon work? Let's have a look. Turn the radio off, see if it clicks in. Alright, nothing from the compre compressor. Uh, it's difficult to tell on a cold day like today whether or not there's actually any gas in the air conditioning system. Uh, I would take it that it's probably not operational. Normally there's a click from the compressor, but sometimes if it's just too cold, there's not enough pressure in the system to uh, for it to switch on. There's a remote boot release which works as well. That's all okay, that's operating. And the electric mirrors, they work. Uh, by the looks of it, no. Maybe the fuse is just blown on them, so electric mirrors aren't working. The uh, electric windows work fine, though. They zoom up and down. Yeah, they're zooming up and down nicely. Uh, all the bag airbag lights go out. Uh, traction control light goes out. All fine. We'll put the uh, fog lights on and all the rest of it. So I've just popped the boot. I'll just show you in the boot what it's like. So Abbey uh, supplying dealer plates front and rear. Pretty good news shows that uh, the car's not been hit or had any major accidents. If the major in the main plates are still on there, and uh, as you can see, uh, a slightly soil, soiled boot, a bit dirty, a few dog hairs, etc. But not that bad. Looks like we're going to need a, a, a bulb for the uh, one of the rear number plates for the next MOT, and uh, 
all that's working fine, rear fog's working fine. Engine's idling over absolutely perfectly, sounds beautiful. Front fog's yeah, they're working. Okay, well, we'll leave you with that shot. Thanks very much for watching. I can tax this car at our local post office uh, without any issues, so you can drive it away all in one foul swoop. And I've just checked the oil, topped up the levels, all is well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.